Good day, YouTube viewers. Welcome to my channel, BT Rocketry. We, I am currently underway doing some pre planning trips to launch uh, Milk as my next experiment, experimental flight, and seeing the results of my flight. And the way I, can, I do this is two ways. I can literally have a nice big diameter size straws. Uh, plastic straws will be better than paper, of course. The other way is I'm mucking around with the bottles of my rockets here. They all come with the caps. And um, they also have an extra cap that goes over that. So what I decided was you know, take off the cap and um, I've cut the end of it. I've hot glued it into place. So the way I did this is I put it on the table. On the table. Yeah. Yeah. So I put it on the table like this, I put some hot glue on top and just leave it for five minutes. Don't have to go too thick on the, from there to just up to here, to where my nail is. Just leave it on the table for five minutes and then just give it a bit of a twist and it'll come off very nicely. It's nice and sealed as you can see. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put some milk in here. So there's a point, there's a bit of a line here. You don't want to overfill it because you do need to screw this into place. So just grab your cap, grab your other cap make sure it goes in the thread properly nice and tight turn it upside down and you're pretty much ready to go you can see a little bit of milk just running down through the thread of that screw but as long as you make this nice and tight, you shouldn't go down. You shouldn't leak at all. So you just whack this then on top of your payload. Go to the launch pad and start launching it after flight. You can see a little bit of air in there. You can just fill it up a little bit more. So after flight, take it off. If you're launching the straws, hot glue both ends of the straws, put them in there after. What you can do is you can just um, cut with a Stanley knife halfway or maybe just a quarter of the way and then uh, pour the milk into your sample container. But in this case, we're using this idea. And um, after flight, so that's the milk that's been flown. Put in your nice clean container, which I have a lot. And this should be enough for our sampling. Turn around. And this should be just amount, just enough amount of milk to do my experiment and the idea. So the signs that I'm going to be looking for is the actual smell of the milk when it's going off. So once after flight, once I pour this into here, I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to grab up some fresh milk. Put a little bit same amount on another thin container and we're going to mark it off which one's which of course and the only way you can tell of course is day by day as we progress 
give it a bit of a smell and see if it goes off and uh, see if there's any thickness in the milk or anything at all to see if there's any actual adverse effects of the J-Force acceleration. So that's pretty much it. Well, I have an idea, I have a plan. So I'm gonna just sit that pretty much set up already as it is. So I'm hoping next episode you'll see me out on the field doing some milk experiment flights. So if you see what you like here guys, thumbs up and I'll see you next episode. So bye for now.